Hey guys, this is Matt Gore from controlpaint.com and today let's keep talking about color correction inside of Photoshop. And the adjustment layer we're gonna focus on today is called curves. Now when we look here, I have used curves to do what I would normally use levels for. So here I've dulled down the background a bit and lowered the contrast. And then here I've added a bit of vignetting. So those two things are really just contrast. But I can also use curves for color. It's the exact same adjustment layer, it just has multiple features. So let's take a look at what exactly is going on here, and I'll make a fresh set of curves to do it. So I'll go to the adjustment layers, make a new curves layer, and then what you see here might look familiar. It also might look confusing. At the RGB curve, I can control things like contrast. A common thing to do is to add two points and make this little S. So you bring it down on the left, up on the right, and you have higher contrast. You can also remove points by dragging them out of the frame. Now if I wanted to have low contrast in the whole image, I would drag that down and this up a bit, and you can see here I have the opposite effect. Likewise, I could pull it this way and have high contrast. So here you can see just by manipulating these end points, I have a similar effect that I would achieve with the levels command. Now where it gets a little more interesting is that you can adjust per channel. And that's where the colorizing happens. So here I'll go to the blue channel, for instance. And I could say, I want more blue in the highlights. So that means I'm going to bring this side of the image up. And then maybe I want less blue in the shadows. So here you see how the shadows are getting yellow. It's because I'm removing blue from them. This gets a little abstract and definitely digital. We're not talking about the traditional color wheel here. But once you can figure out how these color relationships work, you get a lot of control with a single adjustment layer. So this here is just the blue channel. Now I can go to the green channel. And maybe I want to just generally remove green in the whole image. And as you can see, that makes it a little more magenta. I could do the opposite. I could add green or maybe remove it from the bottom and add a little more to the top. So clearly you can have very fine grain control over curves or you can blow out the colors and have really ugly results. But each of these curves are stored in the complete curves control. So you can see each of them drawn separately as a different line and you can work with the RGB line as a group independently from the colors or you can drill down and look at each channel on its own. So let me throw this one away for a minute and we'll go back to the example I made in the beginning. So let's take a look at what those curves look like. So you can see I've done significant editing on each of these curves. Red is going to be the most visible. So here you can see how far I pulled this up and that's just going to give it sort of a reddish color here in the dark values. But then back in my overall RGB channel I can push it with sort of larger strokes. And with this, you'll notice that I've applied it to the entire image because there's no mask on it. Or there is a mask, but it's all white. Now the next ones I laid on top, like here I've darkened in the clouds. Let's see what that one looks like. Here I've not done any individual colors. It's only here with the RGB curve. And as I showed you before, I've sort of flattened out the line to give it a lower contrast look. Well, why isn't it applied to the whole image? because I painted in the mask. If I were to hide the mask, you could see this is actually the effect it would have to the entire image. But I've controlled where that effect is applied. And then finally, this is my vignetting. And if I were to hide the mask again, you can see it just sort of darkens down everything. Well, I only want that around the edges of my image and not in the center. So here with curves and using masks to control where they affect, I've done some pretty strong color modifying from the original and I never did any brush strokes. So the search term you'll use on the internet for this is called color correction, but that's maybe not really what I'm doing. What I'm doing here is more color grading, like one might do with footage for a movie. But I can't stress enough how powerful this is when you are working on a painting and you just want to try out some different looks. The curves adjustment layer is wildly powerful, so don't be intimidated by how confusing it looks. Give it a little practice, try it out, see how it works, and I think you'll be happy. Have fun painting. Thanks for coming to the site, guys.